Um, I went to a game back in 2014. I was during the World Cup and I was on this soccer high and I was trying to keep it going. And my family mentioned that they were going to a game. I have two nephews, sister and brother-in-law, and we all went together. And uh, much like this past Saturday's game, it was a really rainy game. And I remember we stayed out there in the rain waiting for the players to come back on. And there were so many people still out there waiting with us. And I remember thinking, this is such a great community. In addition to the soccer, it's just fun people. And I've been going ever since. Oh gosh, um, I think the big uh, finals where they opened up the other side of Finley, which it's a favorite memory, but I still remember how weird it was. We got there sort of late, so we had to sit on the other side and it was just surreal to see it filled and to see the game from literally a different angle. I think that it helps raise the profile of Chattanooga. I think that you know, sports are something that everyone, not just in the US, but around the world loves, especially soccer. And once they added the shareholder element, I noticed how much people were talking about CFC and it got people to learn about Chattanooga who maybe never would have heard of it before. I remember seeing one morning that the team was profiled in The Guardian. <laughs> you know, So this, you know, British newspaper readers were learning about Chattanooga. So I think that it does help raise the profile of the city, but it's also doing so much here in Chattanooga and helping bring people together. I think it's given me a lot of time to spend with family that maybe I wouldn't have had otherwise. You know, we're all busy. My nephews are now in high school. We don't see um, as much of each other as we used to when they were younger, but we know that during the summer, there are these games and that's two hours we get to spend together. Uh, well, as someone I work with joked, that I am not gonna get a lot of opportunities to combine my love of corporate law and soccer. I think this is probably it. So it felt like something that was so perfect for me. Everyone I've talked to said, oh, you should absolutely do that. So I thought I've been wanting to get involved in more in the community in some way, and this seemed like a good opening for me. So I thought I would uh, toss my hat in and it worked, I guess. I, because you can sometimes, I've seen in the work that I do, there can be disconnects between the shareholders and the board that you might have shareholders all over the country or all over the world and maybe they don't feel like they're represented. And I think that now that we do have shareholders and really passionate shareholders, that having someone representing them on the board will just help with the free flow of information if there's something that you know, a lot of people are really concerned by or that they really want, they have a conduit of getting that to the decision makers. It is, I think, because we're a community team, even if that community is far flung and far reaching. And I think this is a way to, as the team grows and as we move into these sort of new leagues and new times for the club, it's important to remember that the people in the stands are the ones who, that's the reason the team is here and what they play for. I'm thinking we're gonna have uh, some, maybe not trial and error, but I think we're gonna try some new things for these uh, first few months. I think we're all gonna have to learn what's the best way to communicate. I'm thinking about having a separate Twitter account where that's just CFC related so people can follow me without having to really follow me if they don't care about the same things I do. Um, or having even quarterly meetings here in Chattanooga for the people who are able to attend where not only can I hear from shareholders, but other shareholders can meet each other. One thing that's been fascinating during this process is the number of people who in my life that I didn't realize were shareholders. You know, someone I work with emailed me about it. And I never would have thought he'd have been a shareholder because I don't think he's a big soccer fan, but he loves Chattanooga. So I'm hoping that it's a way that not only I can get feedback from the shareholders, but we can all meet each other and learn more about who's invested in this club. I think CFC is a recognizable brand in the city, and I think it's recognizable for how it's brought people together and what it's doing to give back to the community. So I think there are people who maybe haven't been to a game or are ambivalent about soccer, but they like CFC's mission and they see it as a worthwhile investment. Um, I'm just incredibly honored to have been elected to this position by the shareholders and I hope that I can carry out what they want in a way that is, you know, works well and works best for the club.